Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll show you how to make a simple first-person controller using the enhanced input system in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a, a project. So I have a empty, completely empty, a real project is called FPS controller. So it's completely empty. So the first thing I'm going to do is creating a new folder called blueprints, just to organize the project a little. And the and now I'm going to first create a D mode. So we have D mode based BP main to GL main for D mode. And I'm going to assign this to the world. So uh, I'll be able to spawn my custom player. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a character. This is going to be BP player. And then I'm on the GL main. I'm going to assign the default pawn to BP player. Now, if I select it, now if I run, I can't move or anything, but I'm spawned in as BP player. Awesome, let's get to the movement. So, first of all, I want to set up the enhanced input controller. So I'm going to create a new folder called input. And in this folder, I am going to create a new input input mapping context and i'm going to call this icm uh, irc uh, player and here i'm going to let's first add a couple input actions so we're ias doing now is i have a move forward I'm going to have is I a north right. Then we're gonna have a I a look up. Then I'm going to have a I a tarot. Then I'm going to have him a I a jump, and that's oh. And also, I want a I a spread. So I can actually spread as well. Alright, so I think that's enough for the input actions. So in the IMC player, I'm going to add all these mappings. So the first thing I'm going to do is look up. I'm going to do turn. So it's going to be, first I'm going to do move forward with right, just so it's first get that out of the way. So with move forward, I'm going to have W and S. For the S, I'm going to have a negate. This will basically get the value and multiply that by negative one. So we have move, move forward, set up. And for the move right, it's the same thing, but for D and A. It's going to add a negate to A. All right. So let's first get this working. Go back to player. And in player, we need to create a new function called setup input. We'll just capitalize I. Now in this function, I'm going to have a get player controller. Now I'm going to have a enhanced, so get enhanced input local player subsyst subsystem. And then we're going to just do add mapping context. We'll just go to select IMC player. Now, we technically have added the input, so now the input should respond to the keystrokes. We have to just first actually call the function, we're going to call it on begin play. Just like that. Now, let's actually make the movements. So, first of all, I'm going to call the event, which is enhanced input action, and IA move forward. That's immediately accessible when you create the mapping context, everything. So now I should be able to, oh, okay. I just forgot to change these ones to float, float, move right and move forward. Then also for, yeah, for, for now, we'll just do that. So now can you do a add movement input? And now I can basically take the action value, plug it into scale value, now get 
control rotation. Now we can just get forward vector, plug it in here, and then get right vector. Then we can have a move right. Then we can just copy this, copy here. Now we just plug it here. All right, so now the pick play seems like I can move low. Oh, yes, I forgot to add that. Now I can move forward, I can move backwards, I can move right, and I can move left. Awesome, so now I'll see everything works. All right, awesome. I am really kind of slow, so I'm going to adjust the values to be. All right, let's do this. We're gonna set this. We're gonna set the character movement component to the max walking speed and clock speed to 1,000 or 10 meters per second. All right. Now we move a lot faster. See, we walk. This is walking. We'll add sprinting a little later. All right. So now let's get the turning working. So yeah, let's add the inputs so this will be first input is turn so let's add turn then let's add look up look up there we go now for a turn we have the mouse x so the x mouse x axis of the mouse and for the look up we have mouse y so let's add a mouse y and let's also add a negate to mouse y to invert it. So add a negate, just like that to, to the mouse y on the lookup. Alright, I have the input action set up. Now let's get back to the... Another, another thing I have to add is a camera. So let me add a camera onto the steering set it. Now I just position it where the head is, just like that. And I'm just going to change the FOV to hundred. Just personally, that's my preference. Now I will have a turn. So I'm going to get the IA turn event. And also, I completely forgot, but I need to again set this to float. Save for lookup, float. Right now, we have it as an action value. So add controller. Yeah, input for turn. So let's plug this in, plug that in. And for lookup, I want to have add controller pitch input. Just like that. Boom. Now, should technically, so we can turn, but we can't look up. The reason for that is we need to go to the camera and we need to check. Or is this option? We need to check. Use power control rotation. Now, you should be able to look around perfectly. So now we can walk. Yeah, so yeah, that's kind of simple. Let's add some other functionality though. First, let's figure out jumping. So jump, we want it to be Boolean. Now let's go back to IMC player. And then we have to let's assign the jump event. So let's go here. To jump, just add spacebar. That's, that's good for that. And now it's here. I'm just going to find the jump event, which is right here. And the character pond class already has a jump function, which is awesome because we don't need to program any jump functionality. This will jump for us. So now we can jump. Now, super simple jumping. You can jump around. You can obviously change the jump height, jump z velocity, there's a bunch of things you can adjust, so this is awesome. But I'm going to leave it just like this, and I'm going to add some sprinting now. So, let's add the event for sprinting, which is sprint. There we go. Now, this is going to be shift. This, this will be shift. Let out, I will Shift uh, sprint, sprint. There we go. Here's the action event, and I'm going to. I'm not going to use triggered. Triggered is when when you're holding down the key, 
it'll always be running like on tick but started is when you just start and then can and then the completed is when you like let go so i'm going to use started and i'm going to set max walk speed because i need to drag out the character movement and i'll set max max walk speed we're going to set it to 1700 for when you are sprinting so started, copy this, add the character with the reference, and set it back to 1000 when you're back to walking. Just like that. Now that should technically work, so just to check, I click on the player, character movement, and just so we can monitor the walk speed. So set to 1000, sprint 1700, back. So I'm holding shift, sprinting, the go shift, back to walking so yeah that's we got running we got jumping you know looking around turning so yeah that's basically it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more helpful videos like this and yeah see you later